Okay, so in today's lesson, we're going to be looking at the exterior angles of polygons. Now, what you should do is check out the PowerPoint because this is a really sweet GIF. And what happens is these side lengths eventually just all kind of collapse slowly and slowly, like at the same rate. And then what happens is you end up with these three angles, these exterior angles. They form a circle in the middle. And it kind of looks like... Yeah, roughly like this. And it happens the same way here. These five angles create a circle. And then these six angles create a circle. So one thing here, it's not a formal proof, but the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon, no matter what, always add up to 360 degrees, no matter what. Okay, so here we're going to look at the exterior angle theorem in triangles specifically. And what we're trying to prove is that angle 1 plus angle 2 add up to equal angle 4. And this is true of all triangles. We're going to prove it in a second. But if you have an exterior angle, its measure is equal to the measure of the two remote angles, the angles that are not next to the exterior angle. So let's look at it. Um, first, let's write down some facts we know. Um, one fact I know is that these three angles have to add up to 180 because it's a triangle. So I'm going to write that. And that's called the triangle sum theorem. We talked about it last class, so nothing crazy there. Now, another thing I know is if I look at angle 3 and angle 4, those are linear pairs, so those also have to add up to 180. So let me write that. Okay, now this step might become a little bit complicated, but it's not that crazy. So, we know that these three angles equal 180, right? And we know that these three angles, or sorry, two angles rather, equal 180. So if these three angles and these two angles both equal 180, then that would mean that this equals this, because this is 180 and this is 180. So we can write it, angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals angle 3 plus 4. And this is just called the transitive property, or substitution. Either way you would want to do it. It would kind of be like a double substitution. But yeah, since this is 180, and this is 180, we can set them equal to each other. All right, now we're really close to getting it, because remember, what we want is angle 1 plus angle 2 equals angle 4. And look, we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 3 plus 4. Wow, there's a 3 on both sides. So what we can do, since this is an equation, is we can subtract the measure of angle 3 on both sides. And those cancel, those cancel, and look what we're left with. What we're left with is measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 equals measure of angle 4, which is what we were trying to prove. Now, a super important point here is we didn't use any numbers for this. It didn't matter. It's just starting with three angles of a triangle and an exterior angle. That's it. So what this means is no matter what these numbers are, any of these numbers for these angles, this is always a true statement. So like, for example, here's the way you might see it. You might see a problem where this is 140 degrees or so, and this is 80 degrees. And then the question could ask, what's the measure of angle 1? So all you have to do is you know that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2, which is 80 degrees, equals 140 degrees. So just subtract 80 degrees from both sides, and you get that the measure of angle 1 has to be 60 degrees. Because this plus this equals the exterior angle. 